We have massive Joel Embiid news that the New York Knicks are preparing an incredible package for Joel Embiid. Say he were to ask for a trade out of Philadelphia. And this is huge news. He is the Knicks' number one priority. But right now, the number one priority for us is to discuss something very quickly. And that is that the scuttlebutt, yes, I'm saying it once again, and I don't like that I am. But the scuttlebutt is, you guys are not subscribing to the channel. You're watching the videos, and I'm glad you're watching them. I'm glad you're enjoying them. But look at these percentages, guys. Come on, 80 to 20. I know we can do better. Let's get these numbers up. Let's go. Last time I checked, we were two subscribers away from 2,000. We are on the push. I said yesterday, 2,000 subscribers in two days. We are going to hit that if everything goes right. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. But now, no more time wasted. We are going to jump right into this video. There is a massive Joel Embiid report. And that is the Joel Embiid if he is to ask out of the Philadelphia 76ers, the New York Knicks have a package ready for him that includes multiple starters and less first-round picks. The Knicks are trying to give as much talent as possible, and there is only one guy who is saved from that, and that man's name is Jalen Brunson. Because let's take a look right here. Knicks president of basketball operations, Leon Rose, has made obtaining Embiid, if he becomes available, the number one priority. The Knicks are willing to offer a package that includes three key players with Julius Randle, R.J. Barrett, Evan Fournier, and Mitchell Robinson, all available in exchange for Embiid, according to sources. A trio that would be paired with two or three first-round picks. There's, there's that subscriber thing again, just in case you guys didn't hear me the first time. But, in actuality, this is huge. This means that Joel Embiid, if he is to ask out, the Knicks would just go all in. Minus giving Jalen Brunson, which is absolutely correct. You don't give away Jalen Brunson. He's too important to the Knicks' success. You do not do that. But they are willing to trade Julius Randle, which we have not seen since after Randle's first season in New York where he was brutally inefficient. You guys hear the sirens? That's the Joel Embiid siren. That's what that means. It means we have more Joel Embiid news. We have more stuff coming down. And also, all hell's broken loose. Julius Randle may be available for a trade. The Knicks are willing to trade Julius and RJ and Mitch all in a package to land Joel Embiid along with three first-round picks. That's insane, but I love it, guys. I really do. I love it, and here is why I love it. Because if you do the math on the cap space, and don't worry, I did it for you guys. I'm not going to make you guys do homework. The Knicks can afford Donovan Mitchell, too. You can get those salaries right where you can, you, you can re-sign Jalen Brunson. You can bring in Joel Embiid. If you trade Randall, if you trade Barrett, if you trade Robinson in that package for Joel Embiid, you can make the salaries work out that come Donovan Mitchell in free agency, the Knicks can offer him some max money and create a Jalen Brunson, Donovan Mitchell, Quentin Grimes, power forward to be named later, and Joel Embiid starting five that is a finals contender right there i don't care what anyone says that's contending for the finals because Embiid, he has not shown it yet i'm aware of that but he can be the best player to win a to lead a team on a championship or lead a team to a championship i should say paired up with jalen brunson and donovan mitchell and then on top of that you have the defense of quentin grimes who knows who the power forward is going to be they but here's what we're seeing if they were to trade Randall, if they were to trade Barrett, if they were to trade Robinson and only three first-round picks, that means they still have picks that they can offer for a solid power forward. I'm not sure who, because then you would have to make salaries work, but this is where if the Knicks match a huge Emmanuel Quickly deal, or if they just re-sign Manny to a huge deal, they can use him as trade bait. They could use Dante DiVincenzo's contract. If they still have Fournier, they could use his contract. For instance, here's what I'm going to say, guys. Let's just say everything works out perfectly. And a guy like a Jeremy Grant doesn't get traded. His contract is not the best. It's not the worst. Is it tradable? Yes. Is it going to be the easiest to trade as time goes on? No. But if you say this were, were to happen, the Knicks were to land and bead, and then a few years down the line, obviously Evan Fournier is going to be gone, but you still have Dante DiVincenzo. You got some first-round picks. You could pair that with the Emmanuel Quickly contract. And that's actually way too good of a package for Jeremy Grant. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, guys. I'm just, my, my brain's going nuts over here. Because we have Joel Embiid stuff to talk about. And it feels like it's getting realer and realer by the minute. Especially when you think that you could add Donovan Mitchell. And I think this is the Leon Rose master plan. I think this is what he's going for. I think he is looking to pair Brunson with Donovan Mitchell and Joel Embiid. 
and say find a role-playing power forward that can be a really good perimeter defender, hit some threes, and then have Quentin Grimes as a small forward, and then IQ off the bench as the sixth man, or maybe you flip him for a power forward, and you got Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart still here. You got a squad. You have an absolute squad in New York that could go out and win you an NBA championship. It's a long shot. I know it's a long shot. I'm not trying to act like this is a huge possibility, but I do think that Joel Embiid is going to ask out, and I think that the team with the most likely chance to trade for him is the New York Knicks. We've talked about all these reasons before. Leon Rose and William Wesley were at Joel Embiid's wedding. Joel Embiid is a house in New York. He loves it in New York. He already lives close by. His family is growing, so it would be hard to move them across the country. He would just have to move them... Uh, from like a three-hour drive with traffic. So really, this is very possible, guys. This is very, very possible that if Joel Embiid is to ask out, which I think he will, he's going to say, I want to play for the Knicks. This is the team I want to go to. And I'm not saying it's going to happen because of that. Daryl Morey's not going to care at all. He's going to try to get the best package he can get and send Joel Embiid wherever the hell he wants to. But I think the New York Knicks might have some of the most incentive to trade for Joel Embiid if you think that you could pair Embiid and Brunson with Donovan Mitchell. And with Donovan Mitchell, that's going to be the easiest part. If you have Jalen Brunson and Joel Embiid there and the money to sign Donovan Mitchell, we all know that Mitchell's not going to stay with Cleveland. That's just been reported by Bill Simmons again. Like, we all know he's out of there at some point. If he goes to free agency, sees a New York Knicks team that can give him max money while having Jalen Brunson, Joel Embiid, a good core a team that could win the NBA Finals, you better believe that Donovan Mitchell is going to sign with the New York Knicks in that case. That is what they are trying to do here. And here's why I think Joel Embiid is going to request a trade. James Harden. Tim Legler said the 76ers need to trade Jim Harden sooner rather than later. A not fully bought in James Harden is going to drag you down and continue to be an anchor around Joel Embiid's ankles. I think that Tim Legler meant that literally around during the season as Embiid's going to have to take on a, a higher role. But I think of it as sort of uh, two things. One, yes, it's that. It's that absolutely. Joel Embiid's going to have higher usage than ever before because James Harden is not going to be there. He's not going to want to play. Or he's just going to be problematic. Or maybe he won't be. Hopefully he won't be. Um, actually, hopefully he will. So, you know, the Knicks can go for Joel Embiid. But really, that is what's going to happen is, is James Harden has been a wreck for Philadelphia these past few months, and I think that Joel Embiid is going to see this. He's going to stop trusting Daryl Morey as much because of the Morey and Harden situation, and then he's also going to see that the 76ers are basically screwed, that there's no way to continue contending, and he's going to ask out, and the Knicks are going to be on his list because, as Andre Guadalla said, the Knicks have changed and now people want to go there again. And I think the next guy to ask out, who is a superstar, is in fact Joel Embiid. And that is really what we have to talk to, or that's what we had to talk about today. This is huge news. And once again, subscribe to the channel, guys. Subscribe. Just like the video. Subscribe. Come hang out. Come talk Knicks with me. Let me know in the comments if you think the 76ers would do this trade. Do I? Probably not, but... It's possible. It's not a bad deal if Philly still wants to sort of compete. So, I can see it. And, at the end of the day, who knows? Daryl Morey is an interesting character. That's a pretty solid trade package. I don't know how much better it's going to get for the 76ers if Embiid is saying that he wants to leave. Embiid is Joel Troel Embiid. He might be the type of guy to be willing to tank his trade value to get out of Philadelphia. But also, we saw Ben Simmons do that, and it didn't work well for a while until it did. So we don't know what's going to happen, but I'll tell you this. Joel Embiid is not long for the Philadelphia 76ers. So have a great day, guys, and remember, go Knicks.